welcome to another episode of the Urban Homesteading Channel, Wednesday edition. If this is the first time you're visiting with us, we want to extend to you a very warm welcome. If you've been here before or you're a subscriber, thank you for coming back, we really appreciate you. If today is your birthday, we want to wish you a very, very happy birthday. So this is what we decided to purchase. This is a 1999 Toyota 4Runner SR5 and I think it is in, in very good condition. Now, why did we decide to buy this vehicle? Let's talk about this because it is kind of interesting story. Since this was not one of the vehicles I was considering purchasing. As you know, I was considering purchasing either a a Jeep or a Land Rover or a Suzuki Samurai and I had focused my search in those vehicles. You guys overwhelmingly wanted me to buy a Land Rover and really that's what I wanted to buy but unfortunately it was not in the cards this time. So we bought the SR5 came into view by accident and I was very impressed with the vehicle and of course Toyota reliability is well known. It had everything I was looking for and it was in very good shape and for a reasonable price for its age and mileage. So this is what we went for rather than what we were planning to do. Well, there were some good uh, samples like this one in the market. The price was almost $10,000, definitely not worthy of the age of the vehicle, but it was a very good example. Here you see a typical inside of a vehicle that cost seven, eight, ten thousand dollars Really something I was not going to spend money on. Because if someone doesn't take care of the interior of their vehicle, they are not going to take care of the exterior of the vehicle either. This is a very good indicator of how well the vehicle has been cared of by the previous owner. Now I understand that when you see these pictures and these prices, you will say they were most certainly joking. But when you communicated with them, when I contact them, actually they were not joking. This is what they wanted to get out of these pieces of, of junk. And as you can see, most of it didn't even make any sense at all. What they were trying to sell here. I have no idea. The price was ridiculous. Two or three times the price that I purchased this for what I feel were substantially worse um, vehicles. So, exactly what we liked about the car, we're going to talk over this uh, in the video today. And I hope you agree with me that this was the good, the best choice for our channel. One of the things that we're looking to do with this vehicle is to tow a trailer and potentially a boat we're looking to buy. So a hitch was important, especially a hitch that can tow a little bit more than the average class 1 hitch. This is a class 2 hitch and this vehicle can easily tow 5 to 6,000 pounds with a 500 to 600 uh, pound tongue. So that was an important consideration when we were looking at this vehicle, but of course it was not the only consideration as a hitch can be added to most any vehicle. And overall, as you can see, the body is in very, very good shape. I have to do some free, uh, some trim reconditioning and I'm going to show you this. And this is the only cosmetic problem in the whole car, something that's very, very easy to replace and I might replace it, I might not, I haven't decided yet. But in the whole body, this is the only thing I, I mean, if you consider that this is a 1999, as you can see, the body is in excellent condition. And I want to show you what you should not do. The previous owners put some aftermarket bezels on top of the original bezels of the car. Bezel. Yes, and bezels on top of the original bezels of the car, which this one doesn't look bad, but the one in the front look absolutely horrid. Mm -hmm. okay. And we are going to, that will be one of the projects we're going to do. We're going to remove those. And you can see, you know, Yeah. we're going to remove those. <laughs> it's in really bad condition. And um, I think actually Elpida will help me put uh, carbon fiber to, like to cover it. Mm -hmm. But you can see the middle console is probably the worst. Yeah, the middle console also really bad around that. It's already coming off. This one actually is about halfway off, I think, oh, on this side. Oh, maybe not. Maybe the heat just kind of... Reattached it. <laughs> yeah, the heat... <laughs> The heat melted it and now it's reattached um, and then it's also over there on the passenger door but but this would be a project we'll show you guys and you know? around around here um it was supposed to look, make it look more high-end i think but yeah. now it it just makes it look yucky. the limited edition had the wood trim 
-hmm. And then they wanted to pretend it's limited edition, but this is horrible because you can see it's an add-on. It's not flash right. anywhere, right? right. And, and to me, that makes it look worse. doesn't make it look better. Mm -hmm. Especially it has aged, as you notice, the back was okay, mm -hmm. but this has aged poorly and you can see globs of glue and, right. and I don't like it, but I also love that it has real handles handles not just the it has the inside ones too mm -hmm. but yeah this is really nice and you can get it on mm -hmm. on and off of it very nicely do you want to show them the back seats how they the back seats forward yeah the back seats forward can you hear the very satisfying sound when the so it's very closes? easy to convert when you need the you know the fun seat. part is i've not done it you are the only one that has done Down it here oh but wait So that lifts up, and as you saw, we did uh, take care of the extra we got. <laughs> um, now the headrest comes out. And there's a button somewhere here. And Pida has done it several it's times. It's on the other side, I think. I haven't done it at all, so... Mm -hmm. I think you need to do it. I cannot find it. Okay. The button's here. Okay. And the good thing, you want to put it there? Yep. You can put it, it, I've never seen it in a car, but this is so well designed, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, the uh, headrest has a nice little slot there to, to keep it there and keep it without damage. And then as you can see, the other side will do the same thing. Um, and then it gives you a lot of cargo space here. And you get a nice tie downs here, like if you want to tie something on top and mm -hmm. secure it, it, it is very well. I really like how well mm -hmm. this is made, you know. So have you owned a Toyota before? I did. I used to have, and we've made, uh, remember my videos on this. I used to have a, a Toyota, what was the electric thing, the hybrid? Oh, the, um, yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> After a short commercial break, we decided it's called the Prius. <laughs> and I was very pleased with that car. It, it worked very mm -hmm. nicely for me. Now, my mother-in-law used to have a Toyota, you know, like in the 80s. Mm -hmm. With the flip, the Celica, yeah, the mm -hmm. Celica with the the flip lights, mm -hmm. and we love that car. And your father-in-law had a Tacoma as well, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and I had a um, e Echo. Echo, yeah. And which, my next door neighbor has a Tacoma that said he loves. Yeah, which the Echo was a funky little car. Not everybody liked it. In fact, I think it was either a love or hate. But I absolutely loved it. But Toyota is known for its reliability, especially in these older cars. Right? Mm -hmm. When you're talking eighties, nineties, Toyota was king. Yep. It is known for its reliability. You know, this car I went underneath has no rust anywhere. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it is. Hopefully, we're going to have a mm -hmm. lot of fun with it. Yeah. I need to lift it. We have a few things to do to it, but nothing really major. We're going to be showing you projects with this as we do things, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to see foam it, and we might do some cleaning. We might change some uh, spark plugs. You know, mm -hmm. it has a little bit of a hesitation. On start only, it immediately starts, no problems. But when you are stopped, a full stop and to take off. again, you know, yeah. with uh, some occasional stalling, you know, depending on who drives it, I can prevent it from stalling, but I think the air mixture is not there. Anyway. Yeah, but you have to rev it quite a bit to keep it yeah. from stalling. So, but overall, starting with the sea foam. Yeah, we'll start with the sea foam and we'll go from there. And we're going to show you those projects as they come along. Okay. We hope you enjoy our reveal. Of course, this is the newest addition to our fleet. Mm -hmm. And this is the R5 Forerunner. Okay. Oh, no, SR5. SR5. Let me go in the back and make sure. I was going to say, I hadn't heard of an R5, so... Yeah, this is the SR5. Okay. Fantastic, right? Mm-hmm. Well, if you like uh, little... Uh, if you like little episodes like this, let us know. We actually are known of buying a lot of cars. We, we have bought a lot of yes, cars in the last few years. Yes, we have. And again, this is a non-needed vehicle. We bought it for to be our fun vehicle, right? Mm -hmm. We buy a boat, we're going to be towing our boat. It has a nice mm -hmm. five, 6,000 uh, pound towing capacity. It is a V6, you know. But right now, it's putting together the trailer that you purchased so right. we can haul that. So we bought a $5,000 car to pull a $400 trailer. <laughs> <laughs> we're making very sound financial decisions in this channel. <laughs> Indeed. In any case, it's not quite. I mean, I I, I like to have a. Uh, I had a very nice Dodge Dakota truck that we ended up leaving back in Kansas, so I was itching to buy something. So, 
it will happen to, to put the trailer, but we could have put a trailer in one of our other vehicles if that was the case for substantially less money, right? But you know, this we can take to the beach, we can take to the mountains. I mean, it, mm -hmm. it is a fun vehicle to have, and probably you can sleep here. You can put a nice soft mattress and... Well, we know a mattress fits. <laughs> Maybe not a queen size, but it fits. Well, let us know if you like episodes like that. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this episode. Two thumbs down if you didn't. Share, like, subscribe. Let us know what else you might want to watch in our uh, video episodes. From Dr. Wizard Elpida and Durban Homesteading Channel, stay safe, friends.